May this message be God's message. I am again going to read from Hebrews, this time chapter 12, verses 5 and 6. Have you forgotten the encouraging words which God speaks to you as his sons? My son, pay attention when the Lord corrects you. Do not be discouraged when he rebukes you. Because the Lord corrects everyone he loves and punishes everyone he accepts as a son. Okay. Just an analogy, just like parents out of love uh, punish or correct their children when they do something wrong in order to keep them from doing it again, God uh, takes uh, corrective measures with us. Uh, corrective measures can come in many forms, uh, and the list could go on. That's not to say that every tragedy or every bad thing that happens is... Uh, God's doing, or God's punishment. Now, sometimes uh, it could be God's way of opening the door to something better. And, uh... Or to try to build your endurance, uh... Through the suffering, in order to strengthen your faith. But by the way... You know, it says, pay attention when the Lord corrects you. Do not be discouraged when he rebukes you. You know, when I was a kid, being reprimanded by an adult was just very embarrassing. It made me say, uh, you know, I wanted to hide my head in shame because, uh, these people that I felt I had to please, uh, I didn't please. But they were just trying to correct me. Uh, not that I didn't necessarily want to do what they did want me to do, but I understood. So, the Lord corrects everyone he loves and punishes everyone he accepts as a son. Pretty much that. Some call it tough love, but it's correction. Uh... Throughout our life, God will be uh, in the business of correcting our actions, whatever they may be. So, may this message be a blessing to you, and of glory to God. Amen.